Hey y'all, so I wanted to do a video while I do my nails. I got these Glamnetic nails. They're called Juicy. And I wanted to do like more of a personal video today. And I've kind of been inspired to do this video um, based off of Creep Show Art's video about Jojo Siwa um, coming out of the closet. So um, I came out on one of my other videos here as pansexual and I basically I think pansexual and bisexual are like kind of the same thing I just use the term um, pansexual because I think it's more inclusive to non-binary people I guess because I have found myself attracted to like all types of people you know trans non-binary, cis, whatever. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna get into it, and I'm gonna tell my story about my sexuality. So, when I was younger, um, like, I, I did, like, have an attraction to guys, but, um, I was always attracted to girls, too, when I was younger, but I grew up in a small town, and, like, I think I kind of, like, rejected that part of myself, as well as, like, in a small town, it's, like, harder to find, like, LGBT people, so, you know, a lot of people have judged me for my sexuality, and they think, like, you know, I'm just a slut, which, you know, I am slutty, and I'm not, like, ashamed of that, but, like, my sexuality isn't what makes me a slut, like, I would definitely have had a relationship with a woman, had the right woman come along, you know, I'm just more shy, kind of, and introverted, and I'm not, like, I don't know, I think a lot of the women I'm attracted to are, like, heterosexual, too, which, like, really sucks, so I just want to talk about how badly that sucks, you know, like, I've been asked out once by a girl, but that's it, once, you know, so... The first time I slept with a girl, I was actually, like, 19. And I definitely would have before then, you know what I mean? But I just never really got the chance. So, you know, um, I've slept with, like, a few women, but, you know, I have people, like, basically not believe me about my sexuality because they've never seen me with a woman and they say that, like, I just claim my sexuality for like attention or something but it I'm actually attracted to women and um I wanted to talk about it you know like I did I came out in that video because a lot of people didn't know why I was so hurt by like what my friend did and and I had to come out basically because like I don't know, people kind of knew, like, I'd already, like, made posts alluding to my sexuality, but it's hard in society, like, it's hard to be different, it's hard to grow up with, like, a same-sex attraction, you know, so I want to say, I want to talk about my own experience, because I think that if I would have, like, felt more open to myself when I was younger... I would have had a healthier life, you know, and I always, like, I always kind of believed the things that people said about me, you know, um, about my sexuality and whatnot, but yeah, no, I'm gay, <laughs> like, um, you know, I, I am attracted to men, but I'm gay, so it's tough because a lot of people don't understand, you know, like, a lot of people do skits, like, I don't know if it was Chris Rock, but, like, somebody did a skit, like, a year ago about, like, the LGBT community and how, like, everybody just views, like, bisexuals as, like, selfish whores who just have to fuck everybody. And I think, like, heterosexual people are just as capable of being whores. So I just want to say that. Um, I, I never, like, I don't know. I know everybody's just got to talk shit about everything, and that's just the way life is, but there's a lot of whores that are heterosexual, so I don't see what being bisexual has to do with it. I think 
a lot of us um, bisexuals or pansexuals, we, we are just attracted to people's spirits, you know? Uh, we're attracted to who they are, you know, and then the sex part comes after, you know, so, yeah, and then there's, like, a lot of mind games around sexuality, and, and this is why I don't like people like Ben Shapiro, you know, wow, because he's all about, like, shame-based sexuality, like, shaming people for being, like, homosexual, and I'm not about that shit, dude. Like, there's a lot of good homosexual people out there, so who's he to judge, you know? And a lot of the times, people don't want to talk about this either. A lot of the times when people have an inherent issue with homosexuality, it's because they're often ashamed of something deep down within them. And you can make with that, of you, you can make whatever you want out of that. I'm not making any claims about him or his sexuality. I'm just saying it, it, it kind of comes from a place of self-hatred sometimes. So, yeah, you know, I don't agree with a lot of religious people's views on sexuality, and I think a lot of them are hurting their cause, you know? And while I'm here, and while I have a minute, because I, I do want you guys to see the end result here, because these are gorgeous, um, I want to talk about Pastel Bell, and I've been wanting to talk about her for a while. Um, I'll link her channel later, but Pastel Bell is another YouTuber, and she got big on the scene because basically a bunch of Davi Vanity, Quay Monster, whatever fucking name he's going by now, Davi Vanity's victims wanted to be interviewed by her, and it was similar to, like, this situation going on now with the vlog squad, like, um, there were a lot of receipts, there's a lot of proof, but basically because he didn't go to jail, nobody's listening. But, um, I personally, if Pastel ever sees this, I personally would like to thank her for, um, giving victims a voice, no matter what people think about it, you know, she's had some people try to kind of abuse her because she's had success, people who are jealous of her success, and that's really unfortunate. And um, since she's been talking about Eugenia Cooney, her channel's been kind of shadow banned. So that's very unfortunate. So if you don't know who she is, go give her a sub. I know I don't have much power here on YouTube. But, um, yeah, I decided to tell a story on my own private Instagram about something that happened to me uh, 11 years ago that I wasn't able to accept for a long time, and I've just started to heal from it. So, it's just really great um, that YouTube's become a voice for the disenfranchised, and that's what YouTube should be for, in my opinion. Um, I'm really happy to see certain people start leaving YouTube or going in different directions. Um, yeah, I, I think things are getting better on here. You know, things were pretty bad for a while and the wrong people were in control for a while. But I have high hopes. I mean, part of that might be because I only follow people who I love and who inspire me. I don't follow people who... I feel negativity towards, so I think that helps, you know? But yeah, I just wanted to talk about some more in-depth stuff today. I'm a little shaky today, that's weird. I ate. Ooh, well. Yeah, so, I'm loving my new job, so I'll probably only be doing videos like once a week from now on, if that. Sometimes I might skip them just for shiggles, but I really love what I do here, and I hope you guys, like, can see through that. I know I'm not the most, like, clickbaity. I don't put a ton of effort into my editing. Um, I, I know I'm not a super polished YouTuber, essentially, so I, I really want to thank my subscribers. Um, I have so many ideas about where I want to go and how I'm going to execute everything and um, 
I'm really excited for the future. And, you know, these are happy tears. I'm really excited about where everything's going. And I want to thank the few content creators out there who haven't shit all over me and fucked with me. Um, it's been a good journey since I've gotten on YouTube. It's been hard and it's been sad. But, um, things are starting to go good for me. So, I will be back with another video soon. Um, I've been kind of showing you guys the results. These are the results. They're fucking gorgeous. So, um, I actually canceled my Clutch Nail subscription because I decided I like Glamnetics better. Um, they have more coffin styles. And with the Clutch subscription, I couldn't order only coffin style. Like, I got stiletto style too, which I liked, but they, like, broke immediately. So, I'm, I'm gonna go more into depth about a video on Clutch Nails. I think I'm gonna wear them some more first, so I'm a little bit more of an expert, but... These are gorgeous. I love these. So I'll let you guys know how long these last. I'm like waiting tables and stuff. And obviously I'm a busy mom. So I do a lot of stuff. And they're long. So I'll give you guys honest reviews on both of them soon. Maybe I'll put them in one video. We'll see. So you guys have a great day. And thanks for listening.